And hello and welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani and here's your news. Leading off from the country that painted lead and called it gold and then painted chow chows and called them baby pandas, China has pulled off the ultimate illusion, a UNESCO World Heritage Park. The majestic Yuntai Mountain draws around 7 million visitors a year and features China's tallest waterfall at over a thousand feet high. There's just one problem with this natural wonder. It's fake. Video bloggers last week scaled the mountain only to find a giant pipe at the top feeding a cascade of water to down below. Chinese officials admitted to the wet work, saying that they diverted water from a nearby dam so that tourists would not be disappointed when visiting. Because let's face it, nothing pisses you off more than the truth, right? I mean, think of the marketing angle. I went on vacation to China's fake waterfall and all I got was this lousy wet t-shirt. They should just cap the falls with a giant Pinocchio face blowing his nose. Now that's using your head. Not at all like Alex Choi, a YouTube influencer known for being stupid rich and also stupid in general, who now must face federal charges for a stupid stunt he pulled last year. Choi, who is from Generation Z, <laughs> in case you haven't put that together on your own already, tried to entertain his million social media followers by having two women shoot illegal fireworks at a speeding Lamborghini from a helicopter in the desert. As one does. He was arrested last week and faces up to 10 years in prison if found guilty. Look for Choi's promotion for his upcoming video game Grand Theft Brain Cells. Luckily, brain cells aren't needed to earn $20 an hour in California. That's what fast food workers make as part of Governor Gavin Newsom's effort to boost his state's economy. But two months after the law went into effect, the only thing boosted was prices. A Chipotle chicken burrito was $13.80 before the law and is now $14.75. And the cost of a chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A shot up 41 cents. Talk about an unhappy meal. Now, the California Business Alliance says that since Newsom approved the new wage bill, nearly 10,000 fast food jobs have been cut across the Golden State. Here's Governor Newsom, just after signing the bill into law, surrounded by happy and loving fast food workers, congratulating themselves for getting a raise that they never saw because they then got fired. And now in LA, they have automated robot fast food joints where one employee can oversee hundreds of burgers made per day. Luckily, all those human employees without a job live in California, where earning $20 an hour while homeless involves a completely different set of skills. And finally tonight, Hindsight is announcing a bit of a schedule change. We usually line up our hiatus with football season, but in order to provide you top coverage of the upcoming 2024 presidential election, we're breaking early for the summer. But don't worry, you still get to enjoy handcrafted episodes of the best of Hindsight for a few weeks, and then we'll see you again in September with Fresh Hindsight.